I am not a fan of her choice of attire in the Japanese version. It's kind of a leotard, but not really. Uh, the straps cover her nipples, but it doesn't has. But it ex uh, it's it's just personal taste, mind you. Anyway, I'm talking I'm talking about sexual attire on a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Welcome back online guys, Tomagotchi here, and we're welcome to the Gammon Preliminaries, where we fight some some of these same guys from before. There's Phone Jacker again. Some weird guy. Okay, that is Acura over there. Okay, Kane Minion E. A Gammon High Goon who pledged allegiance to Diesel Kane. Okay. Beyond that, there is nothing else noteworthy about this fog. Basically, it's a generic character that I have. you wuss. Let's see some spine. Shape up, wuss. If you're a dragging butt, I'll massacre you instantly. Hey! Okay, then. This might, this might be easy. This might be not. Right, same strategy as before, baby dragon to go forward. Dungeon, dungeon, dicey, dungeon, dungeon, dicey, dungeon, dun. This is cheery music again. It's different from what we had before. It was like, dun, dun, dun. Anyway, let's just rock and roll. The pogo stick strategy always works. Red archery girl. Ooh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Ooh. Actually, I might. Oh wait, no, he's summoning an item. Right, now to be fair, that item could be anything. And he placed it in such a way that I absolutely have to positively attack it. And it will activate it. Well, not attack it, but I. but if you walk into it, you activate the item. <sighs> so roll that dice. Right, I'm actually gonna have Penguin Soldier go in this time. But this time I'm gonna have him go this way. Yeah, I'm actually curious to see what's in that box. It's a level one item, so it's nothing that'll completely destroy me or anything. Let's just see what happens. Also, I need some attack crests in case. Yeah. Right, okay. He's drawing nothing, and I love it. Um, I still need movement crest, so I might as well keep rolling that dice. That's good. Right. Surprise me. What's in this box? Time machine returns monster to its last location. Which, in my case, is just one. Interesting. I waste movement crest, but I'm still attacking your monster, so... Your monster lord, so... So much for that. Oh, it wasn't a trap bandit or a declaration of despair. None of that. Although now he's getting Mystic Lamp, and this should be interesting. And all dark monsters increase. And he moves in a way that is completely stupid. Well, okay then. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have Red Archery Girl home in for the kill. I might even go after Mystic Lamp, just because I can. Right, you know what? I've got enough monsters. I've got Penguin Soldier at the ready. And I only get one Magic Crest. Okay then! Great. 
and the turn. I'm, gonna, I'm rolling nothing. I'm uh, sorry for being silent. I was just wondering what was outside. Oh well. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just keep rolling dice. It's nothing. Red Archery Girl is closing in. She might get a chance to shine after all. Ooh, level two. Ooh, Knight of Twin Swords. That's actually pretty deadly. Okay, um, now I just need attack crests, and um, could get a level 2 summon though, oh wait, I'm using one level 3, oh, okay, yeah, okay, this, this could be good, uh, but I can't attack though, so, so much for that, um, he's summoning level 3 items. Which is not advisable in any scenario. I still need attack crests and I really, really need to pick up the pace. Ah, now I'm drawing nothing. Which is sad. And now he's got a level 2. Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. That was the other monster that I needed to complete Forbidden Powers, but now I have it. And basically what it does, it's the same as Feral Imp, but it stops tunneling monsters. So you can't tunnel your way to your opponents, you have to treat everything. Uh, by the way, I finally got attack crests, so Penguin Soldier can attack. So the Die, Mas so the die Master is close to being finished. Finito. Wait, he, wait, he can attack me! What's he doing? Oh, he's a, he's a harmless dog. Oh, whatever. Even the game said he's not noteworthy, so I might as well just finish him off. And I win! Metal Guardian, which isn't great, but it's something different. Ooh. Right, there's Akira here. Thug C. One of a menacing trio of grungy youths who tricked Lint Greendale into helping their criminal undertakings. Calm down, I'm a nice guy, so I'll let you off with a, co with a couple tears, wuss. Come get it. Anyway, let's have a quick look at Metal Guardian. Level 2 Dark Monster with high defense. Uh, not great attack points, though. What level 2s do I have? In fact, I haven't really... Eh. You know what, to go to carry on the trend, let's give Metal Guardian a little push. And we're dealing with another fog, so this should not be hard at all. Yay! And I'll have to kill a needle here. Whew! The fact that I'm letting that I'm letting monsters in and out of my deck, regardless as to whether they're good or not, actually, has it's good in and especially well, you can do it with any game really. Games are a lot more fun when you have your own objectives put into them, and that's kind of what I'm doing here. It's like I could just go through the the entire game and wipe out every single opponent I see, or I can just see. What I what happens when I put certain monsters in into my dice pool, and I want to do the latter. Anyway, three-legged zombies is actually a good level one monster, similar to dancing elf, but for zombies, I like it. Anyway, let's get baby dragon. Three-legged zombies. And it can, can't do squat, so, so much for that. Uh, actually, I can kill it with Red Archery Girl, I think. How much HP does it have? Oh, just 10. Okay, good. By the way, it shows hearts, but it's clearly meant to be 10 HP per heart. 
And here's Beaver Warrior. Dimension the dice! Beaver Warrior. Roll the dice! Still nothing, but when I do get a monster, I can just mosey on over. Boo ba ba da ba ba da! And now he's mis mismatching dice, so I should not have a problem at all. Ah, okay, I've got a fair amount of stuff in my crest pool. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, three legged zombie is definitely putting himself in position. It's interesting. I love it. And I'm still not drawing Jack. Right. Ooh, Larva Moth. Interesting choice. Ooh, wait, is that a level 2 monster or a level 1? And I'm still not drawing Squat. Anyway, what is this? Level 1 and it's got 20 attack, 20 defense, and 20 HP. That's actually pretty impressive. Considering it... Okay, I've just realized something else too whilst I was reading that. Larvamuff in this game is 10 times more useful than he is in the card game. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, in the original card game, well, in the original anime, Larv Larvamuff was just a generic insect monster that can be used with Cocoon of Evolution. In the actual game, they actually screwed it up. So, its effect is basically a summoning condition. Basically, if you if you tribute a Petite Moth equipped with Cocoon of Evolution on the second turn, you can special summon this card from your hand or deck. Or just your deck, I think. I'm, I'm remembering off the top of my head here. Uh, there's a bit of a problem with that, though. Larva Moth only has 400 attack points, so it's useless. Just completely useless in the card game. But here, you can actually summon it, and it has above average stats for a level 1 monster, and that's really interesting. Now I want one. Come on. Why am I not summoning monsters here? Come on. He's not rolling squad either. Right, I'm get I'm, right. Even if I do get my level, my monsters, I might as well get my level two. Somehow I have better luck with using level t two monsters. So the uh, actually, hang on. Have zero attack though. I was gonna use I was gonna use that, but no. And for giggles. Right, I'm gonna attack you. Oh, okay. Wait, I've already seen this happen. Well, I haven't seen Three Legged -like Zombies, but it doesn't matter. Because Three Legged -like Zombies has. <sighs> sort of be interesting. It'll, it'll be interesting, though. Yes. Um, I could guard. I'll have 30 attack. I'll guard. Let's not overdo it. Let's see what. Three legged zombies does. It's got 30 attack. Okay. The thin zombie punched the fat zombie in the gut, and the fat zombie puked on Mr. Horseman. That's the only way I can describe what happened. It's. <laughs> That has got to be the weirdest thing I've ever seen this game do. I'm glad I chose this game for a Let's Play. I really am, because wow. Anyway. Mystic Horseman. This is for puking on me! <laughs> Gains 10 defense, but that means nothing, because you only had 10 HP. And you're gone. Right, I'm not going to move because I'm actually going to make his Petite Moth waste crests. 
if he's going to do that at all, of course. Um, he hasn't even got the movement crest to do that, so I should be alright. Um, actually, I have an idea. Because I've got plenty of level 2 monsters that I haven't used in battle. And I can summon all of them out right now. I'm going to get 13th Grave out. Fact. Uh, I'm going to block him off here. Uh, I wonder if... Hang on. I've got no attack crests anyway. I'm going to use his ability. Two magic crests. And I'm going to get rid of his beaver warrior for good measure. So, he's gone. Basically, 13th Grave committed suicide. And took beaver warrior with him. Which is cool! Right, uh, let's let's see if we can get someone else. I don't know if we'll ever see th 13th Grave in action per se, but let's... Actually, I wonder if... Oh, I totally can! Right, I just need attack crests and that's it. Oh heck yes, I can, I can attack him next turn. Okay, that petite moth really needs to step up his game, otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna win this with absolute ease. And I don't do that, I just get more monsters. Uh, although, to be fair, oh wow, I can get Killer Needle to the other side of the board. You know what? Let's do that. Because we have the crest to do that. <laughs> Never thought of it. And yet he's not drawing anything. Uh, but that blast lizard, on the other hand, will pose a big threat to me. Right, I need those attack crests and I need them now. Ooh. And you know what? Let's get Curse of Dragon up. And that way I can just attack Blast Lizard when I need to. And give Curse of Dragon a chance to shine. Curse of Dragon's actually pretty decent. It's a flying type dragon. It's a dragon type flying monster, I should say. <sighs> what is what is it with me today and getting terminology wrong? <laughs> anyway, let's get some attack crests already, please. Because I really need those attack crests. I get none. I don't even have any special. Although, although, just for a, just for a laugh, I can just increase Mystic Horseman's attack and just keep going. And now he's summoning Flame Swordsman. He was already on that though. Oh! <laughs> right, come on, attack crests! Give me attack crests already! Oh, a trap crest, which I haven't got anything of. Um, can I still use that? Yes, I can use it twice. So Mr. Horseman is now on 80 attack. Hmm. Hello, Shadow Spectre. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what he's doing. Okay, I've got one attack, but what do I use it on? I'm gonna use. I'm gonna get Baby Dragon to here, just in case. <gasps> Wait, no, no, no. I just realized I'm gonna have to go further back. So, Metal Guardian's going to attack. Right. That way, if I get double attack crests on my next turn, I can just wipe him out. Ooh. And now he summons his 13th Grave. I summon mine, you summon yours. Fair trade. Is he going to use his effect? No, of course not. Uh, and still nothing. But I might as well use this opportunity to get Petite Dragon back in, back in my defense. So it should not be a problem at all. 
Ah, uh, he's got... It's weird, I'm drawing all the movement crests, but he's not drawing any. He's getting all the attack crests, but I'm not drawing any. And I can still buff up my Mystic Horseman. Because why not? Because now he's on 100 attack points. <laughs> he's on 100 attack points. <laughs> okay, anyway. That done. Come on. Attack crests, I need them. There's one. And I might as well buff him up. I actually want to see how far I can get him. Oh, anyway, boosh. Do bit of scuba do bit of bit of how about you pop hop? How about you pop hop? Now he's got zombie wait, is that zombie warrior? It's zombie warrior. Honestly, look at the sprites on Zombie Warrior and 13th Grave. They look kind of alike. 13th Grave got 13th Grave has a bigger sword and a shoulder pad, and Zombie Warrior has a shorter so, shorter sword, but he also has a shield. It's weird. Absolutely weird to me. Anyway, one defense. Oh wait, oh wait, yeah, I have not got any attack crests. We need attack crests! Come on! And now he's getting an item. Right. I have no idea what that item is because there's lots of level 1 items that you can get. Right, come on, attack crests. Give me attack crests already. Finally. I'll finish you off, with, I'll finish you off and go overkill with Mr. Horseman. Whee! And after all that trouble, I get another Witch's Apprentice. Great. Kane Minion F. Are these just minions? A gammon high goon who pledge allegiance to Diesel Kane. Beyond that, there is nothing else noteworthy about this foe. He's the same as before! You better not have any ideas about using cheap tricks. What, me? Like, I'm, uh, I'm allowed to do anything I darn well want. And, um, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to fight this guy next time on on my Let's Play channel. So <laughs> I almost said three, two, one. That's good. <laughs> How are you doing? So until next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is Tomagotchi signing off. Click, click. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click, click, click. Tomagotchi. 